Hi, my name is Tom Ludd. I'm a freelance graphic designer and founder of the Designers League. Today I'm going to give you a very quick overview of the Symbols tool on Affinity Designer for Mac. When designing for the web or doing app designs or anything really where you're reusing elements, Symbols is a really great way to speed up your workflow. If you're reusing elements all across the board and you need to make a change to it, it can sometimes take a lot of time having to replicate that change across all the different instances that you've used it. Symbols takes away all that need and automates the process for you. Let me bring it up. So let's go to View, Studio, and then down to Symbols. As you can see, this panel is now shown up. There's a Create and Detach tool. Create allows you to create a new symbol from the current object. Detach allows you to detach the current objects and stop them from being symbols. And then there's also a sync toggle. This will let you choose whether to synchronize edits across symbols or not. Editing properties while not synchronized will detach them. I'm going to show you how quickly you can make a symbol. So click your element. If there's multiple parts to it, make sure they're grouped, else you'll make multiple symbols. With that selected, click Create. It's as simple as that. And from there, you can click and drag the symbol to reuse in other elements, and it will be synced. Now, let's look at an example I've got here. As you can see, I've used this logo all across these different artboards. Let's say I want to make a change to the color. And instead of having to do it manually for all of them or selecting them all, I can just click on this singular instance here and change the color. And as you can see, it's now updating in real time across all artboards. This is especially useful if you are working with many screens and you need to quickly make a change. Now that can be a really timely process having to go through everything. This takes all the guessing out of it. Say if I want to actually only edit one instance. So let's click on this for example. If I now press detach, that actually detaches it from the rest of the symbols, meaning I can edit just that instance. That's a really quick overview of the symbols tool for Affinity Designer on Mac. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.